Hey, and welcome back to the Go Fast Garage. Today we're gonna do a thing. This truck is uh, really, really loud on the highway. It drones pretty bad. I've got about the biggest Magnaflow muffler I can fit on it, but uh, even with that, it still really drones. So what I'm gonna do today is we're gonna go out and we're gonna actually find out what frequency it's droning at. Uh, you can see the exhaust comes out the side here, but uh, it's not so bad with the windows up. But with the windows down, it's crazy loud. So I don't know if you can see the muffler in there, but there's a pretty good sized Magnaflow. Biggest one they make in a three inch, and uh, it's still just way too loud, right at about 2300 RPM. So what we're gonna do is I got my son Caleb, he's gonna join me today, and we're gonna go out and using just a sound analyzer app on my iPhone, we are going to see what the loudest frequency is, and uh, then we're gonna figure out what we can do with it from there. Okay, so we got our sound analyzer. Uh, it's just an iPad app, one of the free ones on the iTunes store. Uh, but what I like about this one is it does show me peaks for what frequency. So we're gonna be able to go out on the highway and we're gonna be able to see where this thing's loudest. And uh, you can see my voice right now. You can see where, about where we're at here. Uh, I'm thinking we're probably more in like the 150 hertz zone with where this truck, uh, go away with where this truck uh, runs on the highway. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna fire it up, go for a little cruise, and we're gonna see where it's loudest. You can also see my new Dakota Digital Dash, which is looking all sorts of sexy. We're gonna try it with the windows up and with the windows down and see if we get different readings. But it's pretty hot out today, so we'll probably end up windows down right away. And that was a cold start with the truck too. I didn't do anything. It hasn't been out in a few days actually. And you can see how well this thing just fires up and runs. Even with the big cam and everything, it's still really drivable. But what is that squeaking? I can't figure out that squeaking on that side. Something in the dash. I have to drive you crazy. No way! Stupid free apps want me to spend money to pay for apps that they developed. We can see sitting at idle here, it, uh, if I stop talking, it's right at around 125 hertz is the peak. I guess that's where that yellow line is, is where the peak is. Not too 
square Mustang, so it's just going to want to slide off the road. I just left the truck running outside right now just to show you guys kind of what it sounds like at idle and uh, I don't really want to make the whole exhaust that much quieter because it sounds super cool right now you can hear it's got a it's got a pretty nice chop and when you're on it it sounds awesome but uh, I really want to do something to knock that drone on the highway just that ringing through the cab don't need to knock that down because uh, I wouldn't mind putting some miles on this thing on the highway at some point so we're gonna go a little bit different way than just trying to put a quieter muffler on it or anything I don't want to lose any performance either it actually uh, I had a Flowmaster muffler on this thing before and uh, I went to a Magnaflow and I actually did feel it pick up some power there's definitely a difference when you got a straight through exhaust so uh, I'll show you next what we're gonna do here Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually go outside to the best daily driver on the planet. The best commuting car you could ever imagine. The 2008 Toyota RAV4. Which, no jokes about it, it is an absolute riot to drive. I like hot rods and I like everything else, but uh, this thing's like 260 horsepower and it's all-wheel drive and it weighs nothing. It is surprisingly quick to drive, it's pretty fun. But more important, inside. We have our solution hopefully to the noise level on that truck which is just quite simply a piece of two and a half inch exhaust tubing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this thing to tune it like a whistle and uh, i'm going to cap the end of the pipe off and then we're going to weld it right into the existing exhaust and we'll just open up the side of the exhaust as we do that and uh what this is going to do is the exhaust is going to pass through over top of this hole and it's just going to be like when you blow over a weir, uh, weir bottle, a beer bottle or a wine bottle or a jug or whatever and uh, by changing the length of the pipe we can alter what frequency it whistles at basically. So the sound's going to come in here and back out and it's going to cancel out the sound of the exhaust and it does it at a very uh, really at one frequency the most depending on the length of the pipe but uh, we can change that just by changing the length of the pipe so now we know we're somewhere in about 145 Hertz we know that for certain and uh, what we're gonna do is try to tune this pipe to cancel out that noise so it's gonna make its own 145 Hertz resonance and hopefully in turn that will cancel out all the noise that the engines making so kind of an experiment but I know a lot of guys do this on the G8s and other LS swap things and some of the import stuff so I think it's gonna work but uh, now we got to go do the math and find out how long a pipe we need Well, that felt a little bit sketchy I'm gonna be honest but uh, I just got my new ramps and I have to try them out so I got the front end picked up and while it's up I'm gonna do an oil change on it as well but I'm just gonna pick the back end up with the jack room to crawl around underneath this guy and uh, do the work on the exhaust okay so we're under the truck now and uh, bottom of the frame there it is. There's our big old Magnaflow muffler that drones like crazy on the highway. I can't believe how loud this thing actually is still, considering like that muffler is like two and a half feet long. Like it's big and it's an oval too. It's not a round. I thought uh, I actually thought it'd be a lot quieter. 
So this is where we're going to try to attach our J-pipe in, somewhere here before the muffler. And uh, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to sit, but it might have to hang down a little bit. But uh, I guess that's no big deal. But you can see the rest of the Y-pipe I built here, all out of scrap pieces from the donor truck. And it turned out pretty good, but I've got a really leaky set of headers on there right now. So it's kind of annoying, but uh, <laughs> you can see the O2 bung that I just welded up solid. And I've got my wideband, there it is, oh, just that exhaust aside. My wideband is up here, right, because you want it pointing down at a bit of an angle so nothing puddles in it. And it uh, seems to work pretty good there. And I still am running factory O2 sensors uh, up front. And uh, that makes for a pretty nice cruiser, but I definitely got some exhaust leaks at the collectors and even worse at the headers. So eventually we've got a set of new headers, but I have to rebuild the Y pipe when I do that. And I'm just not very excited about any of that. So I'm just gonna live with exhaust leaks for now. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I have taken the mid pipe out of the truck here and while I was under there I marked it out where I'm going to want to cut it and I finished getting my piece of tubing down to the size I want it. It's the right length and I took and I coped the end of it here so it's going to fit on real nice right here and actually I can weld it to this hanger as well and that's how it's going to sit in there real nice. So let's go ahead and now I'm going to have to drill this out here, cut it out so it fits nice here, fit this a little bit better, and then I'm going to weld it on. Okay, I got that all cut out now and you can see it's got a not bad fit in there. I kind of cleaned it up enough so I could weld. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead, get my welder out now and I'm gonna tack that all on. But uh, actually before, before I do any of that, I gotta come down to this end and I gotta build a cap. Kind of forgot about that for a minute. But I'm gonna cap this off and you can kind of see how the whole thing works. That uh, this resonance tube here will hopefully cancel out Whatever we got going on, hopefully it sounds a lot better. It makes it a little quieter for cruising on the highway. But uh, let's go ahead and cut this cap and then I'll go ahead and start welding. This here might be a bit tough to cut. Ah, not too bad. Hopefully this is thick enough I can weld it on there. This is a patch I bought for doing body work, but uh, it's pretty thin, so. We'll give it a shot, see what happens. Okay, so what I'm doing here is uh, 
I'm just doing a bunch of little spot welds because the metal's so thin. But uh, as you can see, it's actually welding pretty good. So I'm just going to take this clamp off now and I'm just going to go all the way around. Maybe. There we go. Yeah. As you can see, we're welded all the way around. We've capped this thing off. And uh, I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to clamp this pipe onto that pipe. And I'm going to go ahead and weld it as well. There we go. As you can see there, that fits pretty good as well. So now I'm just going to keep going with that same technique with the uh, stitch weld. And uh, it's going to go all the way around this guy. Hopefully, I can get in there good enough. I think I can. And we'll be done. And then all I have to do is bolt this thing back on the truck. So let's go ahead and weld that guy up now. Yeah. Yeah, it does a weld right when I shook the ground up. Cut this off again because I'm silly and I forgot about the ground lead. can see it actually welds up pretty nice uh, it is kind of dirty old metal so it gets a bit of the brown stuff on there but that'll clean up with a wire brush uh, normally when I do a weld I try to do it continuous you know and puddle it but uh, this thin metal it's just not worth trying you just end up burning through unless you're a far better welder than I am but uh, I'm just gonna keep going and stitch the rest of this hole it all the way around. It's pretty decent I think and uh, now I'm just going to bolt this guy back on. Oh, except for I think I'm going to put a tack weld here just to hold this end of the pipe up as well. Not that it matters, it's not going anywhere but why not since we're already here. Hey, there it is all welded in. I think it looks pretty great. We got our connection done back up here. Wide bands hooked up again and the pipes in place. So we got lots of clearance to the drive shaft. Everything looks real good. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to fire it up. I don't know if we're going to hear much of a difference here in the garage, but when we get out on the road, we'll do another, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, frequency spectrum test. That sounds fancy. We'll use those words and we'll see if it's any quieter. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fire the truck up now. No idea if this is gonna sound any different or whatnot, but I guess we're gonna find out right away here.
uh, it's really hard to tell from uh, the video I'm sure but you can see where our highest peak used to be at 145 Hertz now it's moved it up like towards 250 that means it knocked that big peak down and uh, seems to be doing its job as far as the rest of the noise goes it's still making it we still got our chop Let's uh, get this thing down on the ground, go for a drive, and see what happens. Okay, uh, we got the J-pipe installed, and we're going to fire it up and go for a drive and see how it is. kid cleaning cars making a few extra bucks if you live in Fort Mac and you'd like your uh, car detailed send me a message get you set up with them all right interesting to see what happens now there was construction I wasn't joking this is just a disaster here I gotta say just even sitting in here though it sounds a little bit different even at idle my peak frequency right now is 125 Let's see what it is as we get going here it is different though just getting on the gas pedal you can hear it it doesn't ring through the cab so much. I mean, maybe it's the placebo effect, but uh, it seems better so far. Yeah, all I hear is the supercharger there. My favorite sound. All right, I'm just gonna sort of accelerate lightly here because that's when it was the noisiest. just shoot a quick walk around video here so you guys can kind of hear how it sounds now with the J pipe in it
Okay, there it is all welded in. I think it looks pretty great. We got our connection done back up here. Wide bands hooked up again and the pipes in place. So we got lots of clearance to the drive shaft. Everything looks real good. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna fire it up. I don't know if we're gonna hear much of a difference here in the garage, but when we get out on the road, we'll do another, uh, whatever you wanna call it, uh, frequency spectrum test. That sounds fancy, we'll use those words. And we'll see if it's any quieter.